Hello, brother fans. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this type of bodysuit in the, with the help of the geometry drawings in the Blender 3.6. You can see that. So let's go to Layer tab and go to the render tab and let's see. Just press play and you can see that. So how I made this in the Blender 3.6, you can check about that. So let's start. So now we have a scene which is empty. Uh, sorry, which is empty here. So what we do now? Just go to here. Let's go. Shift A. Add a monkey. Hmm, monkey is looking pretty good. So let us make the shade more smooth. So now it's looking more amazing. Go to the material shading tab and let's create a material here. Name the material also a monkey. And let's change the color to mix shader. Connect this mix shade to here. Connect this to here. Add shift A, add a glossy BSDF. And connect this to here. Shift A, add a color ramp. And let's connect to this fat. And shift A, add a attribute node here. And connect this color to fat. And change this name to this. So let's start. So you can see that that's now the material look more perfect. So what we do now? Just change the color. So I will go to and change this to black. Change the roughness to three. And make this base color to black because it's a our under under color, which is help to use the material. Okay, and suit also. So now this you can see the metallic metallic and speckler are also. On. Let's go to the geometry nodes. Go to the material view. Shift A, add a group up. So Shift A, add a set material node here, and just set this and name to monkey. Again, add a join geometry nodes. Connect this to here, and now instance on face node here. Instance on point. Sorry, and connect this to. Here. Okay. Shift A. Add a store name attribute node and connect this to here. Remove to here and connect this to here. Okay. Now change the so name this. Mm, this also okay and the remaining values are same shift a add a store name attribute another store name attribute instance and shift a add a cube because the cube are working for our suit okay and uh, it is a layer of our suit here so change the name here to uv map float to vector and point to face corner and connect this mesh to geometry now you can see nothing is happening so what we do now just go here and add a color ramp node Connect this color ramp to selection and this color ramp to create uh, another shift. Uh, add a multiply node, sorry, add a math node which will help us uh, to multiply the, our objects for our suit. So, what we do now is connect this one value to here and change the value to multiply. And let's create a color here. Okay, add uh, another color, make it black. Now that's good perfect. So what we do now? Just duplicate this node and copy this and connect this node to scale because it will help to scale our projectiles and motions here. And it will help us to create a suit along with the body of mesh and connect this multiply to here. 
make the value to 4 and now let's uh, duplicate this and make it to square root because it will reduce the size of suit and the body of suits and the particles also of which made by the cubes connect this to here shift a add a rotate euler and connect this to rotation sorry change axis angle and location and uh, local shift d connect this to angle and the last thing is create check and make it 6 ok change the value to 6 now everything is perfect ok so what we do now just create a map range node here map range node and change the value first of all i want to connect this to all our the values we have ok so what we do now just connect this to this ok first of all this and the second one is fact and the third one is will be this ok now now you can see the my body mesh is now looking black so what we do now just change the value here from min 1 and max 2 now you can see everything is looking perfect duplicate this node here and shift D and shift A add a math node also connect this to value and connect the second value to here shift A add a separate XYZ and connect this value Y to the value here and shift A add a named attribute here and connect this to first of all let's make it amazing let's change the name to face corner uv map and connect this to here okay now shift a add a scene time and make it to second okay now everything is looking perfect but one minute let's one more thing is add a face area node here and connect this area to square root because it will reduce the area of the suit here. so let's play the press play button before but 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 one thing let's play nothing is happening here so what we draw the one thing that we have missed here is to change the value of map range here let's make it to zero map range maximum to three and this two and let's play the press uh, press the play button now you can see that the suit is removing but not working properly so let's make it something amazing shift a add a subdivision surface here and connect this to here and this mesh point to points now let's see that something now you can see that okay as looking perfect here the suit are removing mm, one minute go to the sharing tab here and let's make it a little bit darker and let's play now you can see let's make it a little bit more so let's go to the layer tab here ah, now we can see now you can see everything is working you can change the size and the multiplication size and also the value of suit here and change the value of level here now you can see that that's looking more perfect and more amazing here okay first of all let's change the size of cube here so what we do now just come and check and change the value of cubes so let's change to 0 0.5 0 0.2 along y axis and 0 0.2 along z axis so now let's see something now you can see that 
looking more perfect. Uh, let's reduce the subdivision value, and now, okay, that's looking more perfect, more good, and more amazing here. So I think that you like this tutorial very much. In this video, I showed you that how you can create this type of the animation in the Blender 3.6. Next video, I will going to show you the amazing tricks and how you can create a glitching text effect in the Blender 3.6. So are you ready to know about that? So please subscribe my channel first, and then you will, I will show you the amazing tricks and amazing concept and the, my concept art and the, my creations in the Blender that I have created. So let's start.